Welcome to the Print Runner instructional video detailing how to save your Adobe Photoshop CS4 document into a print ready PDF file. We encourage you to use this method as much as possible to ensure that your order meets our file check requirements and prevents any delays in the production process. Before you do anything, please be absolutely sure to keep one final unflattened PSD version saved for any future editing as this process requires flattening of layers. With your Photoshop file open, go to the Window menu and choose Layers. If you have multiple layers in the file, go to the Layer Options drop-down and choose Flatten Image. Then go to the File menu and choose Save As. In the Save As window, give your file a proper new name and choose the location that you remember. At the bottom of the window, choose Photoshop PDF for the format and make sure the embed color profile is unchecked. Then click the Save button. Click OK in the next prompt if you want to override the Save As settings. This will launch the Save Adobe PDF dialog box. In this window, choose Press Quality from the Adobe PDF Preset drop-down. This presets many of the options and fields the closest to our print rudder settings. For compatibility, choose the highest Acrobat version you have. Do not choose Acrobat 4 PDF 1.3 if at all possible. In the first setting called General, check all four boxes, Preserve Photoshop Editing Capabilities, Embed Page Thumbnails, Optimize for a Fast Web View, and View PDF After Saving. The Compression tab allows you to downsample any excessively large images down to a specific resolution. It is only necessary for you to give us images at 300 dpi. Any more than this is excessive and will create an unnecessarily large PDF file. Choose Bicubic Downsampling at 300 dpi or PPI with zip compression at 8-bit image quality. Under Output, change color conversion to no color conversion and don't include profiles. After this, it is not necessary to go to any of the other tabs. Click the Save Preset button. In the dialog box, enter a name such as Print Runner or My Printer Settings and click OK. You will now see that the preset you just created is in the list of Adobe PDF presets for you to choose from. You can now use this as a PDF setting without having to remember all the compression and bleed settings. You are now ready to finish. Click the Save button and choose Yes if you get the prompt for the Preserve Photoshop editing capabilities. Your PDF should then pop up on screen. Examine it to ensure that everything looks OK. Thanks for watching this clip. I hope it was very informative. If you have any other questions or issues, you can visit the Print Runner website to view more of our help topics. Thank you.